You know what? Hold on. Before we even get into this, on that topic, this game, this game sets me off sometimes. Judging someone by something they wear, that's petty. That's ridiculous. On the mammoth side, hey, hey, Gabriel, hey, 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 hey. Where's Laura? Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Come on! The fr- What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 41 of our Pokemon Legends of the Arena Demo Explorer. Last time we had a longer episode and explained that our series has shifted to a new time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, at the 2 p.m. time slot right in the middle of the day. <clears throat> and we'll be doing longer episodes. After that, we 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 took a um we took a how, how would you say um Let's see, what's the English word? Um, we took a silly dive into a strange world. There we go. Uh, but eventually made it to taking on the tournament um, for Sunstone Village, where we are able to win our sixth medal of the series. And then we made our way here to, Iron, to Frost Icicle Cavern, where we're on our way to, to Glacier Town. In today's episode, we're going to jump into Icicle Cavern and see how far we can get. If you're enjoying, hit the thumbs up down below and answer whatever our question of the day comes to, which, I don't know. Also, later today, tonight, um, assuming that I have the time, and as of recording this, I don't know if I'm going to because I'm several days away, breaking the fourth wall. Phoenix Rising, episode number one, is coming soon, either tonight or or tomorrow, I don't know. It depends. It depends on a couple things. But here we go into Icicle Cavern. Now, we're leading... Gosh, I want to lead Neutron so bad so we can just punch these ice types. Let me see. How, what's his speed like? 91? He is the slowest on the team. I'll just use Mozilla. Now... Many of you probably know that Sneasel is our mascot. So if we run into a Sneasel, I'm going to freak out. We might decide to use him. I don't know. I truly don't know. I really don't know what to expect in here. Also, I, again, breaking the fourth wall, I probably could have timed my recording of this episode a little better, because um, I was just talking to the guy that uh, that makes our uh, that has made our graphics. He made this series graphics, and he's currently working on next series on Phoenix Rising, and uh, we were talking about the plans for that when I started recording. What is a what is an ice puzzle? What is an ice puzzle? been thinking about a lot recently i say that sneasel is my mascot but when i think about the six pokemon that i would have with me on a journey sneasel is not one of them is that weird that's kind of weird isn't it i feel like i need to change my mascot but i mean i guess i'm early enough that i could i don't know let's see oh a deli bird Speaking of mascots, there's a nice, a nice YouTuber's mascot right there. Are we eventually gonna make our way all the way back over there? That'd be wild. Wait, how do I get there? Wait, let me go back and look. I, I, I didn't miss anything. I know for a fact I didn't miss anything. 
Is that just like a... Is he just chilling there just for the sake of chilling there? Yeah, he is. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like um, if I were to change my mascot, Jang Mo'o is probably the best one that I would go towards. Chapter 7, Revelations. First off, I love this. I'm so cold, I think I might be stuck to this bench. Moving here from Taproot Town was the worst idea ever. Question of the day, here we go, here we go, here we go. If you could choose where you live, which hopefully we all get to a point in life where we get to choose where we want to live. Would you like to live somewhere that will snow throughout the year? That will snow often? Um, would you rather live like towards the beach? Would you like to live in the middle of nowhere in the country? Would you like to live in the city? Um, let me know in the comments down below. What's up, girl? What, what the what the heck, Laura? We go from Sunstone Village to this? I know it sucks, but hey, while we're waiting for you, we built a snowman. Great. And Gabriel's been flirting with the hot mayor lady, which is new. Wait, isn't he? No. I thought so too, but no. We don't judge. It's not my life to live. You can make your own decisions. Weird. The guy wears bright purple for... Okay, that's... That is too much right there. I would never say anything like that. It doesn't matter what you wear. You can wear what you want. My favorite, tied for favorite YouTuber, his color is purple. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go. I've been waiting for ages. Don't judge people based on anything like that. You know what? Hold on. Before we even get into this. On that topic. This game. This game sets me off sometimes. Judging someone by something they wear? That's petty. That's ridiculous. You should absolutely, under no circumstance, do that. Do that. Okay? I feel like that's not really a problem too much anymore. But you know, you see someone wearing rainbow and you assume something and purple, I guess, you assume something. I think that's stupid. I think that's, that's stupid, stupid. Now, something that our country struggles with, our country being America, is seeing the color of the skin. I'm guilty of this. I'm working on it every single day. I'm working on it. But I don't judge people based on that. Some people say that we should judge people based on their character, their inside, which is, I guess, the closest to correct, but why are we judging people to begin with? Now, if you mean that in a sense of who you want to be friends with and who you want to interact with on a daily basis, like, cool. But if you see someone doing something and it's their personality and it's not something you agree with, it is not your place to tell them that they should change that. Sorry. I really hope this music restarts because I'm not done. It's not your place to tell them to change that. Um, I, I live based on the Bible. I'm not gonna talk to you, I'm not gonna go into that. I'm not gonna go into that, I'm just saying. But if I see someone that is doing something outside of that, I, that's not my place to judge. It's a, okay, sure, whatever. And if it's if it's so far against what I believe, then maybe I just don't interact with them all the time, but I'm still civil to that person. I feel like if we can grasp that simple concept, it's not up to us to judge. We are, we are nobody to judge anybody based on anything. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. Um, can I help you? Yeah, uh, you Laura? Yep. Great, great. Uh, Gabriel wants to see you. Said it's urgent. Really? Well, okay. Must be a Christ or something. I guess I'll see you in a bit, Domino. Don't you dare ride a mammoth swine without me. Wait a second. Weren't we just going to see Gabriel? Why did I get left behind? If I would have known that was going to happen, I would have done that and then gone off on my on my talk. 
anyway. That's just my two cents on the whole thing. Like, it's not a big... That's just my two cents on the whole thing. That's just my two cents. Yeah, I can't wait for Pokemon. It's like Christmas, but with 800% more Pokemon. You know, when I was a child, my Christmas was mostly a Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, if you kids don't cut it out, then I swear, Delibird won't deliver presents to this house for the next five years. How's Delibird supposed to get down a chimney which is on fire? Want to hear a good story? It's quite long. <clears throat> okay. So you know the tournament was created by Reginald Righteous 30 years ago, right? I think so. Well, it almost never happened. See, most of the trainers back then came from wealthy families. Poor people could barely afford Pokeballs, let alone all the fancy training equipment the top guys had their hands on. But Reg, he was different. He knew that your skill didn't come from how much money you had. He knew it was part of your character. So he convinced his friends to come with him to the local villages and see if they could find fresh talent. How did that go? Not so great. See, all the village folk were scared of Reg and his buddies. Their Pokemon were much stronger. And besides, if some rich guy dares you to fight them, wouldn't you think it was a trick? Anyway, Reg began to lose hope. But one day, at one of the last villages they visited, there stepped forward a challenger. He was a complete stranger. Not even the village knew who he was. But he took on Reg and his buddies. And he won? You bet your buddy did. The rich guys were gobsmacked. In all their years, they had never faced a trainer so strong. They tried to find out the guy. Who, they tried to find out who the guy was, where he come from. But I and I swear this is true. He vanished. Poof! Into thin air. Wait, really? Sure. And he never came back. Wow. So what happened with the tournament? Well, that was all the convincing they needed. Reg and his buddies set up the tournament that year, a place where anyone from anywhere could participate. And Reg was proved right. The first winner was this poor kid from the docks of Saltspray City. The second, a gardener from Sunstone Village. But deep down, I think Reg wanted to see that guy again. The guy who changed everything and then disappeared. Maybe that's why he started eating so much food? Jeez, would you look at the time? Sorry I kept you, kid. That's alright. Thanks for the story. No worries. You can let me know if you see that guy. That actually kept my attention. You may be wondering why nobody's hanging around town. May I direct your attention to the freezing cold snow and ice everywhere? That's what I thought you'd say. Got a boarding pass? No. And you can't come through. Easy enough. I found an Everstone. Has anyone ever used an Everstone? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody ever use... I don't even think I did anything. Whoa, he... Alright, what we got? This is supposed to be the coldest this town's ever been in over a decade. I hope it isn't an omen. What, like Kirim is here? Why do you call her Ice Queen? I think that's what people used to call her back in her battling days. Also, I once tried to ask her out and she said no. So either she has a heart of ice or she's a lesbian. Definitely the only two possibilities. You know, I was about to say I related, but then you said that. Internet time, how am I supposed to order a seal fur coat now? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good on you for asking her and not being a chicken. My sister gave me a Lapras for my birthday, but I want something a bit smaller, a bit manlier, you know, like a Gyarados. If you have one, would you be up for a trade? Nah. Claire is, Claire is one of our better Pokemon. I can't just get rid of Claire. I can't just get rid of Claire. Buy one Ultra Ball. Buy three full heals. I don't know when I'm ever going to use that much. Buy seven of these. Escape ropes don't work. 
you find me an area in the game where 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 it works. We're going into the fourth time through this through this song. I apologize. I kind of went off, didn't I? I kind of went off a little earlier. Ooh, I've been clearing I've been clearing snow off this roof all morning, but then more snow keeps falling. Will it ever end? You know, I joked about Kieran being here, but. Hey, Domino, is Laura coming back? Not sure. It's okay. Her snow pack, her snow packing was kind of lousy anyway. Hey, don't talk about Laura like that. Who this chick? She seems important. Hmm? Sorry, I was having a nap. My name's Gabriella. I'm the official expert on Pokemon and their dreams. Did you know that all Pokemon have a hidden ability? It's true. By having them focus on their dreams, I can help Pokemon unlock this ability. Would you like me to unlock one of your Pokemon's hidden abilities? What's their hidden ability? <laughs> I just typed in Mozilla. Uh, hold on. Flareon's hidden ability is Guts. Eh. Uh, Kingdra. Damp. Ass. Uh, Luxray. Guts. Uh, Gardevoir. Telepathy. Oh, that'd be good in double battles. But I think Synchronize is a little better. Pickpocket? What do I have? Actually, I don't even know what ability I have. No, don't need that. I don't need pickpocket. Sheer force would be sick. Sheer force would be sick. Better than mold breaker? Yeah. I don't know what you want to watch your bar. Here we go, all changed. Come back soon. Now, let me see all of these abilities Flash Fire, Sniper, Rivalry, Synchronized, Chlorophyll, and Sheer Force. Well, Neutron just got a little better, so <laughs> I think we just bought him a little bit of time on the team. Okay, so what's up this way? Is there more town to explore? Bro! Sign- oh, no, no, there's not. Sorry, pal, there's a blizzard coming, so we're shutting down the route. See, that's at least a semi-legitimate reason. Alright, what we got? Hey, Domino, this is quite different from Sunstone Village, isn't it? Okay, before he says it, I'm gonna say it. Where is Laura, and where did that fake little salesman go? I know who you are. I just don't remember your name, okay? I don't remember it. Yes, it is. Hey, have you seen... Oh, isn't it the most be Isn't it the most beautiful day to be shoveling mammal swine poo? Ha! Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. That's so funny, Cecilia. Eh. Oh, I didn't see you there. What is your name, boy in hat? Uh, my name's Domino. I see. Nice to meet you, Domino. My name's Cecilia, though I suspect you'll have heard me by my nickname, The Ice Queen. I think it started by a frustrated ex-boyfriend, but I have to admit, I've rather come around to the name. Gives my dung-scraping duties quite the regal spin, don't you think? Haha, <laughs> what a story, Cecilia! Gabriel, where's Laura? So, Cecilia, how long, um, have you, um, owned Mammoth Swine? Hey! Hey! Gabriel! Hey! 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 Where's Laura? I want to know what happened. And I want to know what you did, because I know you did something, Gabriel. That's what I'd be saying. Well, my father herded Mammoth Swine when I was younger. He even gave me my own swine up to play with. And then... 
When he left us for a swimsuit model from Johto, I took over his business. Oh, I see. That was, um, very courageous of you. Gabriel, where's Laura? How am I supposed to know? It's not like I'm her father, is it? A man came up to us and said you wanted to see her. Well, he was clearly lying, wasn't he? What did this man look like, Domino? Was he wearing glasses? I... Yes, how did you know that? Oh no, it's the ex-boyfriend, isn't it? What? Gabriel, I think Laura has been taken by the Cult of Shadow. One, that's bad. Cult of Shadow, oh no. Two, awesome. Storyline before next tournament. <laughs> what? How did... There's no time. We'll need to act fast if we're going to get her back. She'll be taken north to an abandoned Pokeball factory. That's where the cult has settled. Only problem is the route leading there is cut off by a blizzard. Tell you what, I'll loan you two of my memo swine to carry you through the storm. I'll go on ahead. We need to hurry, otherwise the route will be completely cut off. Wait, Cecilia! Slow down! How did you know the cult was back? And how did you know they've taken Laura? I know she's a high profile target, but she could have just... She could have just... Oh, Gabriel, things really have changed since you were last here. I never should have taken my eye off her. Come on, there's no time. Well, you heard the lady, Domino. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. This this music is... It's testing me. We're on, we're on take six of it. I, I can't just walk out the back. I was pressing down. I, I, my character went to the right. What the heck? Oh yeah, now you ain't gonna say nothing. I love this! Gee, it sure is cold out here, mister. You said it, Billy. That's not my name. That's enough, Billy. Why does my character do that? I found one snowball. When I played through Pokemon X and Y, which is what this area reminds me of, which riding on Mammoth Swine, if that doesn't remind you of Pokemon XY, you got issues. You gotta you gotta play that game. I love Pokemon XY. I love it. I love it. I love Gen 6. I would go back to Gen 6 tomorrow if they released it. I would be so happy. Oh, I'd be so happy. Okay. Also, I was while we were talking through all that. Should I add a Mammal Swine to the team? I've certainly never used a Mammal Swine before, and I can't imagine he would be worse than Rampardos. You know what I mean? Rampardos' weaknesses, grass, water, fighting. I think that's it. Steel, ground. Grass, water, grass, water, fighting, steel ground. He's literally up on my screen. Why don't I just look? Fighting ground, steel, water, grass. I got all five. Okay. Mamoswine. Mamoswine. Fighting steel, fire, water, grass. So take out ground put in fire. I might have to think about that, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. I might have to think about that. I've never used Mammal Swine, but that's Earthquake, that's Ice-type attacks, that's... Excuse me. Oh my gosh, why am I yawning? I literally slept so much. I literally slept so much. Jinx, no. Jinx? 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 No. No! Oh! Alright! Let's go! I'll fight you! I'll beat you! I'll beat you! I'll beat you! I'll beat you! Do a pulp? Yeah!
Tell him the story, music. Let's go, Mozilla. Strongest Pokemon on the team. Bronzong. Stay in. Heat wave. Heat wave. Heat wave. Dang it, I gotta go for another heat wave. No, I don't. Quick attack. Boop. Slow, bro. Peace. Galleon, let's go. Galleon, hit him with that. Boop a doop. Nice job, Galleon. Fantastic job, Galleon. Galleon, take 40%. Good job, Galleon. Bang. Galleon listens to everything. Galleon is literally the team player. I don't know, without Galleon, it's like... What the heck? Why am I yawning? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm so sorry. What the? There's a hot fire inside me, a passion for battle that melts snow and ice. Ah! I told you I was gonna freak out. Don't kill me. Bye, Sneasel! See you soon, maybe. Alright, Neutron. It's time. Show me your power. Show me your power, Neutron. Why do you take 60% for everything? He's dead. Yeah, he doesn't have a chance to live. Just saying. Who next? Who next? Line him up. Medicham pass. Uh... Let's try it. I'm gonna get hit with a high jump kick. I know I'm gonna get hit with a high jump kick. Wait, that did neutral? Oh! Um... What the heck? What are Medicham's weaknesses? Since I have it pulled up here, I'm just gonna look. Shut up! Flying Ghost. <laughs> I was thinking about it and I was like, seems like he doesn't have very many weaknesses. Huh! Oh! <laughs> Wasn't trying to run, I promise. Uh. Hyper Potion. Just let Galleon do it. Don't freeze me. I've been calling that all day. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm upset. I'm upset. Player, come on. That's gonna be neutral. Shoot. Reversal? What? I really should have switched into, uh... TK. That animation for Surf is absolutely top-notch. Galleon is trying to learn Wild Charge. Sure. All my 
Pokemon's moves suck. Okay. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Mozilla has Flare Blitz. Galleon has Wild Charge. Neutron has Head Smash. I am the worst kind of trainer. Also, I wish I had a flying type. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Come on! The fr- Oh, I was gonna say, the reason this area reminds me of my X and Y playthrough, uh, my original X and Y playthrough from years ago, 2013 I guess it was, um, is that in the area where you ride on a mammal- my X and Y playthrough, my regional ask my period did from ago 2013. When would you like to be reminded? Delete that. Sorry, I can only delete one reminder at a time. Okay. My home pod heard me say something. That scared the living like <laughs> That just scared the crap out of me. I was like, who is talking next to me? Anyway, what I was trying to say. All I was trying to say. All I was trying to say. Uh, all I was trying to say was that in my original playthrough of Pokemon X and Y, in the route where you encounter Mamoswine, I found a shiny Snover. So I wound up playing through it with a shiny Mega Obama Snow, which was awesome. Which was awesome. So that's that. Oh, you're both dead. You're both so dead. <laughs> you're both dead immediately. I can't use Surf, but, uh... Actually, I should switch, because you're part grass. Um... I guess Galleon is really the only safe additional switch that I have. Obama Snow, well, no, they're both 100% dead. So that's four times effective on Obama Snow. Obama Snow, it's two times effective on Weavile, but he doesn't have the best defenses. I would... I already have a, dar a part dark. That was awesome. Heat Wave just blew them away. Away! found hail. Um, I found all the snowballs in, in my in my path so far. What's this? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho! Hello there! Hello? You look like an adventurer. An adventurer with Pokemon, no less. And sometimes Pokemon need a little help, don't they? Get to the point, Chris Winkle. Wrinkle. I'm the original Pokemon move maniac. I know every single move that Pokemon learned growing up. I also like to collect snowballs in my free time. Tell you what. Give me three snowballs, I'll teach a move to one of your Pokemon. I don't know. Who needs tutoring? Who doesn't have a move that is good for them? You'll never guess what name I just typed in. You'll never guess what name I just typed in. He doesn't learn anything, man. Neutron does not learn anything. Okay, um. Gardevoir. Gardevoir. 
Metaphor has Psychic. I don't need any of this other stuff. Uh, I don't think I need anything. <gasps> wait a minute. 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 Nah. I was thinking Leaf Storm, but I forgot. I forgot. No, 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 no. Yes. Well, if that's the purpose of the snowballs, that's kind of lame, but... Arr, I should have worn a jumper. What? Sorry, a sweater. I forgot what you southerners were like. Don't say it like that. Sorry, what? These earmuffs make it difficult to hear anything. Was that Max? Oh, the girl. So it is Max. I spy a cave, but how to get there? I'm gonna guess that if I go... What's up, dude? Isn't this snow like totally rad? Cowabunga! I'm gonna guess if I go to the left, I will eventually wind up. Celio. More like scary as heck. Switching Galleon on the water move. Instead, you use Blizzard, predicting me. Hurt me quite a bit. Bit. Now I've got a heal. You're gonna use Blizzard again and you're gonna hit me because we're in a. Literally, Blizzard is broken right now. Because it can't miss. Freaking, freaking freak. Discharge! What? Nice crit, Galleon. That's how we do it. That's a team player right there. Who next? Cedra. Not switch. I could have switched here. But I, I possibly even should have switched there. To give Pinocchio some time. I don't think we've seen Pinocchio in this episode. Which is weird. We should see all of our Pokemon in every episode. Hyloswine. Let's go Claire. And hit you with that surf. That surf dough. Yeah. Our team is really good. Actually, I should have gone Rampartos. But... Kalalaloister. Yes. Back to Galleon. Don't you dare icicle spear me for five shots with your skill. Skill link, right? That's what it's called. All right. We're doing good so far. Our Pokemon are, with af since I grinded, like we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I was trying to ignore, I was trying to hide myself from all the Pokemon. But like, they can't see me, I can't see them. No, stop it! That's unnecessary damage. Let us take another battle. We'll kill you. You have a Munchlax. Does your Munchlax have Earthquake? Body slam, called it. By called it, I mean like I knew it wouldn't have anything. Munchlax, gone. Peace. I think if Neutron gets the hit off, especially if it's super effective, whatever it is is gonna die. What you got next? Hariyama. I got something for Harry Mama.
You got a camera up down here. Out here in this cold, keeping you warm. But he died. I'm telling you, our team is pretty good. I like our team. Once we figure out how to get a reliable team member where Rampardos is, it'll be good. Ooh, gong, gong, gong. Ooh, gong, gong, gong. See, like, Neutron just lags behind because I can't use him. I can't use him as often. Don't you hit that blizzard. Don't you freeze me. Thank you. I don't know, at that point, I probably should have just gone for wild charge. Wait. Ooh, this looks like a lot of trainers. <laughs> I was going to say something totally different. This looks like a lot of trainers. I don't know how many more battles we're going to take on today. Glaceon? Oh, you're... <laughs> you lined up on the wrong side of this battle. You ain't beating me, Glaceon. Peace. F uh, yeah, yeah. Mozilla kind of gets up when it's against other evolutions. Dang, this area is huge! Oh! Uh, yes! Made it. Wait, I have cut! It's like they do this just to check you. You got all your TMs? Ooh, Dawnstone. Oh, Frostlass. Duh. He said, how am I traveling so fast along a flat surface? Who knows? Star me, you freaking cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Now we're gonna see Pinocchio. Pinocchio! <laughs> he tried to unload on me. God dang, what did I do to you? I'm going to hit you straight up with the cut. Okay, I was about to say. We're in some trouble. We're in some trouble if he winds up killing Galleon as well. Ooh, did I just get enough hit points to... Ah! Abama Snow! I mean, it's just the best option. Mozilla is growing right now. And we're hitting... I think we've hit all of our heat waves in this episode. Which is fantastic. All right, I think... Let me just peek. Yeah, it looks like there's a long... Oh, okay. So we're about to head into the next... Okay, before I go down there, let's go ahead and wrap up this episode. I need to go back and heal. Um, and... Uh, Pinocchio kind of died. Um, so I'll go back and heal. And in the next episode, we will continue on to oh we're going to save laura we're going to save our girl man you know in the last episode what's her face tried to hit on us who was it her name was uh you know you know never mind i don't even want to talk about it because you can hit his freaking motorcycle behind me that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy, hit the thumbs up down below and answer our question of the day, which again was, 
If you could live somewhere, uh, if you could choose to live somewhere based on the climate, like where would you like to live? Would you like to live somewhere that has snow once in a while, that has snow often, that never snows, by the beach, etc., etc., in the desert where it's hot, you know, wherever, country, wherever. Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you next week for more Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Again, make sure you check out Phoenix Rising. Uh, episode number one, either later today or tomorrow. We will see you then. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.